Hello everyone on YouTube. In our video today, we're going to discuss about the gears. Well, yes, the same gears that we all know. We have gears like these. Can be metal, can be plastic. Plastics, we can usually find them in radios, amplifiers, in the other devices like that which doesn't require so much force to spin them. But the metal one, we can find them in these type of machines. You can see those, all these gaps. And especially in our cars, that's where they use these type of gears. Okay, so there are so many reasons that we can use the gears in our systems. Maybe, not maybe, but we don't want to use so many motors in our system that's why we use gears like this or maybe we need to change the angle of where the our system is spinning you know but the main thing is about avoid using so many motors in a single device okay so I hope all of us we know about how this works so here what we're gonna talk about is something new something different to all of this because we're gonna talk about magnetic motor yes these are the magnets permanent magnets like these ones here you can see the middle one I use these magnets this side I use these ones little smaller and the little ones use uh -oh, to this side okay so first of all before I continue I just want to explain how I made this so how I made this or how you can arrange these magnets make sure that here the way you see here that is the same way you have to do north next should be south n s n s north south north south same thing to here north south north south and this side i did something just to show you as you can see there's n s n s as i'm saying but when you reach here there is s s i did this just to show you that's why i use different magnets I tried to use these ones, there was no space, that's why I used the small ones to show you what is happening when you're spinning this and once you reach that place, you can hear that? Every time when you're passing there, it's doing some kind of funny sound. It's like you are forcing the gear that has lost these teeth okay so let's say maybe all the teeth are fine but here some teeth or maybe one or two they are smashed they're flat but you're forcing to spin it that's where this thing happened that's uh, sound like scratching like that okay so please make sure that when you are doing this experiment, I hope most of you, you're going to do it. Just make sure that do not do this. Putting the same pause closer like this. No, just put S, N, S, N, S, N. All right. So I just wanted to say that. And another thing I just want to add is that this is the same way like how this works it works the same to this one if you put large here just like here you can see this is bigger comparing to these ones this and this is the same but this is large so what am i trying to say here is that when you put something bigger here let's say this one it has 10 poles and this one has 10 poles uh, no, this one I put 11 poles, but I'm just saying 10 poles, 10 poles, and you need 
this one to be bigger that once you spin it once this must go twice or maybe this once you spin it once this side must go like maybe 15 times or 10 times then it doesn't matter how many magnets you put in here you don't have to match with these ones same like the gears this side it can be this one can have 10 and this one can have maybe 30 that means once you spin this once this one is going to be maybe it's going to spin three or five times faster okay so you can use whatever you want to use here just make sure all of them they arranged ns 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 all of them okay so when we talk about uh, the torque well i'm telling you this has a very huge torque we're talking about the power here okay the power this has a real power not just saying here okay even though i can try to prove it to you here you are going to be doubting just try to do it and make sure that here you're not leaving big space okay so when you're doing like this i would recommend that if you leave a space like two millimeters or maybe if you can if you have a nice spacer and if your magnets are arranged properly you can leave even one millimeter just a small space then you are going to see and you are going to enjoy all of this okay so to prove to you about that that's why i put here a little generator most of you you remember that generator we've been using i mean we made this before we need to like this or oh, maybe i should do this yeah there i believe you're going to see okay now that place is giving me hard time but anyway it's going to wake out now let's check out the voltage from this we're gonna see if you like this project and you want to see it in a real action i'm going to do it again because this one i'm just just want to try to show people and see how much you're going to love it oh uh, it's around 250 not there See that? Oh. This. Even if we can put another generator right here, it's going to do the same thing. And you can keep going, put another one here, put another generator, put another generator here, another one, maybe four. By spinning this, you're going to power all of these lines. I'm going to prove that to you, even though if you're not going to ask, but I'm going to do it in one of the video which are coming. Just have to get more like these ones. I believe I have. I have to dig somewhere else. And I promise you that I'm going to come back with this video. But it's going to have so many motors this side. Maybe one, two, three, four. So anytime once we see four motors lined up this side, and maybe we're going to have one this side, which is going to spin this and power all of these ones here. Okay, you know, we will stop there. We're not gonna do anything else, but I'll show you. So you might say maybe no, that voltage once you put something is not going to work out well. I have a light bulb right here. See. And remember that I did that just to show you as I, as I said. So in the next video, we're not going to have another problem like that or something like that. Okay, it's going to be normal, everything else. Right. So see that? 
we are able to power this and you know any voltage drop you can see that side still reaching 40 just like how we are making that 40 okay i'm not gonna go far with this because of this thing here i have to sort it out put them all in north south north south because i believe that what i wanted to show you right here you see it one more time i'm gonna use the rope to spin it you're gonna spin even this it's going to be the same thing you can spin this it's going to be the same thing okay but i recommend to spin the one you made at the big one which is going to multiply the the speed if you spin that one like this one here the middle then that's good okay ready see the same thing the same jamming jamming stuff that's what is happening but anyway i hope you get it what i'm talking about so okay you see another problem here this is not spinning but here the middle i need glue look at this but anyway i hope i show you what i was trying to say here so in the next video make sure that i sort out all these problems i use glue to glue up all of this see that's why it's just make noise and uh, did not produce any voltage because of this this thing is spinning separately without spinning the the rotor here which is supposed to charge or to power this okay so let me know if you're interested but i know most of you maybe you still lost but in the next video we're going to show all of this properly and all this problem i have to apologize as you can see here see this we're spinning there inside so i'm going to sort out about all of these problems and come back with a clean and pure video anyway this was the beginning so let me know how you think about this kind of magnetic gears Thanks for watching.